Hi y'all, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I am doing quite well. And this is the love reading for the Magic of You Oracle deck by Fiona Horn. I actually first came across Fiona Horn at um, Hexfest last summer where she taught online like a lot of amazing people did. And I can't wait to watch WitchCon in March, which is a month away. Oh, yeah. And I still haven't watched all my Hexfest. Oh. oh, well. So, what do the cards say for y'all for this month? This card says Samadhi, which is perfect acceptance. This tells me that you're going to meet someone that can perfectly accept you. That means with all your trials and tribulations and your foibles, we all have foibles. For example, I stress. I had someone earlier today be mean to me in many ways, and it's been stressing me all day. Should it? No. It just means that I have to make some more options. But I get stressed like that. And I'm like, ugh. And in fact, what I want to be doing right now is reading a book so that my mind is not dealing with, real, with all this other stuff. That's how I deal until I calm down. But I have not. But there is a person out there that will accept you who you are. Isn't that amazing? Now, your mom won't usually accept you. And if she does it, she needs to work on her loving abilities. Because I accept my children as they are. Some of which I don't always like, but I love each of them. And that's how someone who is meant to be your partner, your life partner, your other half, is going to accept you for who you are. Now let's see what else we get. Mirak. This one says to embrace the oneness with the universe. So that tells me that you have been struggling with accepting that you're part of the universe. You have been struggling like a lot of us do where we feel like we don't fit in, but you do. We all are called to be the best me and you that we can be and so we do fit in we belong in this world I belong in this world I do belong in this world and so do you I just need you to understand that I need me to understand that I have value you have value this is epoch this says it's time to pause in your journey. Just take a break. So this tells me that I don't think you're going to meet that special person in February. But what you are going to meet is down the road, you're going to meet that special person. But right now, you're caused to pause. And the reason that you're caused to pause is because, let's look. This is the NAS, to feel love and proud. So this tells me that you have to do some of your shadow work and you're growing before you're ready to meet that person. That does not mean that it's never going to happen. It just means you're not there yet. Because if you want the person that's perfect for you, you have to be the person that's perfect for him or her. And you're not there yet. I'm not there yet. This might be my reading. I don't know. I haven't chosen yet. And this is saying that you need to learn to feel loved and you need to learn to feel proud of who you are before you can move on to that relationship. You need to put a, a kind of a stopper on your relationship, your future relationship. And finally, this one says, Orenda. And you are to um, honor your mystical side. 
Well, obviously, if you're listening to me, you have a mystical side. And I think that this says that you're struggling with that to believe or not to believe. Well, you're being called upon not only to learn to love yourself and to take pride in yourself, but to learn to allow your mystical side to grow and to become what it needs to be. It needs to flourish. Just like you plant seeds in the ground, you have to nourish them. So you need to nourish that mystical side of yourself. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400, and we can schedule something on Zoom. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.